Hello, my name is John Snyder. I'm with Anderson Engineering. Today, what we're going to talk to you about is how to do field classification or visual manual method for ASTM. It's field classification in the Army. We have some soil here that we're going to, we've already prepared. We got it past the number 40 sieve. Number 40 sieve is about the size of particles at sugar, uh, sugar grains or salt grains. So we passed all the material through and we got it to here. We've wetted it up to what we call damp to moist. If it was just below the sticky limit, the sticky limit would be moist. So the first test we're gonna do, we're gonna shoot a series of videos on how to prepare these tests. And then tomorrow we'll go ahead and do the field test. So the first test we're gonna prepare is for what we call the cigar test mm -hmm. or the Slim Jim test. The technical name for the army is called the, the uh, ribbon test. So we're gonna take some material, we already got it mixed up. Grant's gonna do his set too. And we just, we got it, we already added water to it and we got it to damp to moist, maybe just a little bit more than that, but definitely not uh, sticky yet. So we're gonna take some about, uh, about this much, baseball size, golf ball size, and we're, we're just gonna mix it up thoroughly so we get a very consistent uh, sample. So in the field, you take some dirt, Take a water bottle, add it, add to it till you just got it to be again damp to moist. Moist is wet in your hands. Damp, you can feel the moisture, but uh, this just leaves a slight moisture on my hands. So it's somewhere between damp and moist. So I've mixed it up. Okay, I feel it's good. So now I'm gonna take it and then I have a plate here, but in the field I just roll it between my hands. And then maybe I could put it on a piece of plywood. So here I've just got it. We're going to make it about about the size of a again a Slim Jim, fat Slim Jim, Sharpie pen, about half inch, three quarter inch, about five inches long. That's about right. And then you can see Grant's doing the same thing. He's just putting it together making it about half inch, three quarter inch in diameter, make it into a cylinder, and that'll be the step one to prepare a, a ribbon test, or what we call the Slim Jam or a cigar test, because it looks like a cigar. But you may have to just kind of knead it a little bit together and uh, just make sure it's all very consistent and then So for your test, you may want to add just a little bit more water. Why don't we just make it flat and then uh, open up your hand here and we'll go ahead and right, let's put it in here and then just mix it in just a, a tad bit more. So again, we want it to be uh, damp to moist, but just a little bit on the wet side. So he's going to knead it all together. And then he'll make it into a cigar or Slim Jim, about half inch diameter, three quarter inch diameter, and then about five inches long. And then uh, we'll have those. And then later when we do the test, we'll end up ribbing it, ribbing in it to about an eighth of an inch and see how long it can get. Wing clay should only get one to two inches. A fat clay can get five, six, seven inches. Something that's even leaner than a lean clay, like a silty clay or silt may only go about uh, ribbon about an inch before it falls apart. Okay, so we're good and we'll go ahead and uh, start uh, the next video. Good morning, this is uh, John Snyder. This is the day two. We let our samples dry out or uh, mellow in this case. So we're gonna continue what's called the ribbon test. I believe this to be a silt. So we, we made it into cigar shaped uh, and we're just going to squeeze till we get about a quarter inch, eighth of an inch. So even I, I could even go, you know, an inch on this sample. Here I could hold it, could hold itself up, and there it broke. So somewhere between half an inch to an inch, and typically that would be a silt. So this sample only was able to ribbon about half an inch to an inch. So we know that is probably a silt. This sample we've tested before, we know it's a lean clay. 
made it into about a three quarter inch diameter cigar, Slim Jim size shape. So I'm just gonna squeeze down and I'm gonna squeeze about a quarter inch to a half inch. And so I'm about an inch, two inches now. And so there, just right about you know, two inches, almost three inches, it broke. It just wasn't able to hold itself up. So we have a less than an inch, so like a two to three inch. So we know that's a lean clay. And then for fat clays, because fat clays, they're fat with water. They love water. When you do this test, you ought to be able to go several inches. And we prepared these, these samples so that they were uh, uh, moist, but not sticky. So we just keep uh, going. And I'm gently holding this because, you know, it, uh, I might be doing it a little bit thinner. But it's able to, so this, I probably should have made a little bit, this is six, seven inches. Uh, it's able to hold its shape. So uh, we have lean clay, I mean, lean uh, uh, silts that less than one inch, uh, one to three inches for lean clay, and uh, five to eight inches, nine inches for fat clays. 